I felt like the being in my life from my early childhood to my teens was simply initiating me to myself. And by not telling me anything about himself or his place, but behaving towards me with love when I was able to detach my fear and stand back and just observe his behavior. Um, it was like he was always implying, if not asking, to look at myself. You want to understand, you want to know, look at yourself, look inside yourself. Ask yourself who you are, where do you come from, what are you? And I say this to, to all of you um, because I think it's the same. And I see that the whole phenomena in a way as asking all of us worldwide, do you remember? Because when you look at every culture worldwide, there is plenty of evidence to suggest that we have had co contact with um, non-human intelligences throughout our historical um, development. And not just beings or a being, um, long time past, coming and spending some time with us and teaching us aspects of civilization, but also genetically interacting with us. And w when I hear people say, as a kind of criticism sometimes, why do they look so much like us? As if maybe they are just a projection of our own minds. I think the question should be asked the other way around. Why do we look like them? Um, and I find it very useful and in a way very spiritual for this being to um, behave with love but to ask me to look at myself. And it helped me also to develop an attitude of not to look at him as something better than myself, above myself, superior, despite having a technology which I've seen operating many times with many witnesses. In the last three years I've lived in a, in a valley which is one of the major hotspots in the world for UFO activity. And one of the interesting things about living there is not just witnessing the objects but also seeing the military response which is rapid and um, I've seen about 40 objects in the last four years in this valley alone and 90% of those were intercepted by one or more military helicopter within minutes. Have you any questions at this point? I think I'd like to open up to the meeting and make this maybe more interactive. Yes? Oh, right. Mm -hmm. The attitude that, that I developed was that, yes, okay, they have technology more advanced than ours. Yes, they have psychic abilities that are more developed than ours, although we can develop ours too, and um, I'm sure equal their own. What's more important is why they're coming here and their intentions, and um, whether they are emotionally mature and balanced as beings, as self-aware, thinking, intelligent beings. Um, so the technology and the psychic abilities that I've always seen as, as like tools, they're vehicles, but it's how you function with those vehicles, whether you function in a spiritual way or not. Um, now, to answer your question, I um, know through having researched material and having witnessed um, many interceptions that the military has more than radar to sense these objects. They're not always obvious on radar. Um, one of my abilities is to actually see um, these vehicles and other things. I have said to um, a group or individuals that we have an object, for example, two miles from us in a certain direction. It's not physical yet, it's not visible yet. It's almost like it's on a, a vibrational frequency that in an ordinary state of consciousness, you can't perceive through your senses. But if you were to alter your consciousness, you would see it. And I'm sure that the military have um, devices to uh, pick up certain frequencies. Um, because I mean, I've seen the interceptions, they are within minutes, mostly, in, in the valley. I've gone out into the environment and with a small group of people, discreetly, respectfully, one, um, wanting interaction with ETs, but also going out and being active. Um, something I've noticed is that after asking um, why are they coming here and finding out that 
many of them do have a deep concern for what we're doing to the planet. Well then if we become active in trying to help the planet, then we are in a way working with them, whether we are aware of that or not. And one of the ways that we can help the planet very directly is by using the power of our positive thought, particularly as groups, going out and doing planetary healing meditation. And I've been doing this for a number of years, and also inviting participation, support. If they are out there concerned, um, and they can support our meditation, to come and do so, if it is safe for them. And on many occasions when I put out this invitation, request, we've had objects turning up before, during, and after the meditation. Taking up distances from six miles to the closest 30 feet away. Um, and instantly showing that they respond as we respond. And the more positive we respond, the more positive we will have um, a response from them. Um, it's like we're going through a big educational experience um, where we need to become responsible, mature beings um, to enter into a responsible, mature relationship with beings of like mind. Otherwise, we attract those things that are like ourselves.